Welcome back to our channel. So this look here is majorly inspired by the amazingly talented M -M -M Mitchell and he has brought out his own tatty lash, the TL Mitchell, which we are using today. It's so big, so fluffy, it's just amazing and the eye makeup is so dramatic and colourful, really blown out, extreme wings. So if you want to learn how this look was created, keep watching. So we have a beautiful new model called Jess today and her skin is slightly dry so I am applying the MAC Studio Moisture Fix on all the dry areas of her skin and I want it to be really dewy and glowy today so I'm also going in with some MAC Strobe Cream, the Gold Light Pearlescent Shade and just buffing that in with a Duo Fibre Brush before I start with the eye makeup. So I'm starting with the eyebrows as per usual and I'm going in with the HD Brow Products which is the brow cream in the shade Vamp we're using the angled brow brush and I'm just using short little movements just creating the eyebrow hair strokes just concentrating on most of the product on the arch and the tail and then I'm going in with the P. Louise Rumor Base so this is the best eyeshadow base it's took the world by a storm I think and I'm just patting that on all across the eyelid and then paying much more care right near that eyebrow so you want to drag that product across and down and then keep patting it into the eyelid making sure you've got an even coverage all over the eye I've took it out quite far because I am doing a winged out look today and it's gone quite low down as well because it is going to be really blown out really blended and smoky and the brush I'm using is the MAC 252 which is quite large on to eyeshadow now. So the first shade that I'm using is by Illamasqua and it's the eyeshadow in the shade Vapor which is a really nice mustardy yellow sort of transition shade. It's a really good colour for a lot of different eye looks and it does go with all different colours. A lot of the leading makeup artists use that. Um, you'll probably see that in a lot of YouTube videos. So I'm using that today and I'm focusing on the outer edge of the eye and creating like a blended outer V shape. So I'm using my Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush which is quite big. And a little tip I picked up from Jamie Genevieve is to turn your brush on its side when you're blending out that outer edge. And it just makes it softer and, not, and more tapered, not too... Um, blocky so you don't lose that V shape and I'm just picking up a little bit of product buffing it in small circular motions blending that right out to that outer edge not going too high to the brow turning my brush on the side and just keep picking up more product and repeating this stage until you're happy second eyeshadow colour now and I'm using a slightly smaller brush which is the MAC 217 and I'm going in with the P. Louise palette and the shade I'm using is Sunkissed which is the bright orange colour so I'm patting that a centimetre down from where I started with the vapour colour and I'm still paying attention to this outer edge I haven't gone onto the inner eye yet so I'm basically following the same sort of shape that I've already started with and just intensifying the orange colour really. I'm also then picking up my previous brush and going over that and blending the vapour into the sun kit. So this next step, it is a little bit like I'm missing a bit out because I'm going in with a really dark colour now and quite a small petite grease brush which is the Zoeva 231 because I'm going to sketch out, <laughs> using the shade sketch, I'm going to sort of sketch out this wing and then blend that out with like a pinky colour from the P. Louise palette. So I'm going to apply this dark colour now which is like a plummy 
navy sort of colour called Sketch from MAC. It's actually a blusher, but at P. Louise they introduced me to it and I really liked it. So I'm dabbing that on again all over the outer corner with a really small brush. The small bullet of the brush enables me to really wing that shape out and then you'll see that I'm going in again with a softer fluffier brush and I'm going to blend that dark colour out with martini which is like a pink and it just helps to intensify that. So I wasn't too sure on the placement of the eyeshadows which is why I did this step the way I've done it and I've put the dark on before this pink in between and the reason for that is because I wasn't sure on the placement of the eyeshadow and how it would fall on Jessie's eyelid. It's a brand new look I've done so I basically went in with the dark with a smaller pencil brush to really map out the wing and then I've took the martini and blended that out and it really helps to fuse all those colours together so you can still see the vapour yellow, the sun-kissed orange Orange, the martini pink and then this purple plummy colour so just keep on blending picking up previous brushes and just making sure that all those colours that we've done all blend in together there's no patchiness no areas where you need a little bit more pigment and if you do pick up a little bit more product and just keep buffing that in and blending I'm also then going in with some Urban Decay Blackout again on a really tiny pencil brush just on that outer edge again centimetre lower than where we put the sketch so it's really dark towards the outer eye right near the lash line so for a pop of colour now I'm going in with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette this is a brand new palette that I've ordered from Beauty Bay it was only £20 and it's gorgeous I really like it the pigment payback is just so good like the eyeshadows are so buttery and creamy even though the powdery eyeshadows um i got really excited when i applied this onto jesse's eye actually because i just thought the colors look really nice um with each other so i'm just packing that on with a crown brush just a flat eyeshadow shader brush before i then buff out the edges with one of my my kit co blending brushes and then i'm going to go in with some p louise pigment So I'm using a My Kit Co My Precision Concealer Brush just to pat on that icy pigment. I've literally spritzed it with some Fix Plus and I'm just patting on that pigment over that turquoise that we've done. So there's no structure to this eye look. It's There's no cut crease, no harshness. It's literally all blended in, all beautiful diffused together. And I'm going to apply some Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara, my go-to mascara. It's waterproof. And it just seems to go well with all my clients so i use that and i haven't got any footage of me actually applying the tatty lashes because my head got in the way um but you can see here look how gorgeous they are so it's different packaging to the normal tatty lashes as well and just look how thick and fluffy and 4d effect that those eyelashes are so i've applied those to jess with some duo lash glue as always and I'm then going in and finishing off the skin now. So we primed it earlier with the Moisture Plus from MAC and also the Strobe Cream. So I'm now applying a mixture of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And I'm using shades Cashew and Rich Caramel just to match up Jess's skin colour. And I'm using a My Kit Co Domed Foundation Brush just to apply that through blending that into the neck and the hairline before I then go in with my damp beauty blender. Now applying the Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Medium. And I'm doing all the skin before I complete the under eye today, guys. So I'm going to make sure the skin is perfect, set with powder, before I complete the under eye. And I'm just going to take 
those colours that are above and smudge and blend them through the lower lash line. So I'm using my damp beauty blender to quickly, rapidly pat in that concealer into the skin and then carefully buff that in with my Zoeva concealer buffer brush in those areas where the beauty blender is too large. And I'm going in with the Coty Airspun Setting Powder just underneath there, just in case we get any fallout from the eyeshadows going under the eye. So I'm going in with Deep End, which is a nice bluey eyeliner pencil from Urban Decay. And I'm going in the waterline and smudging that through the lower lash line, just on the inner eye. And then taking an angled brow brush and I'm just working in that sketch colour right near the lash line and linking that up to that outward V shape that we did making sure that it's blended not too harsh with any lines or anything like that and then taking a really small MAC 221 brush and blending in the martini shade so just going over that sketch, blending that out and using a pencil brush as well just to make sure that shape is kept, that outer extreme smoky winged V shape. So now I've dusted away that setting powder and I'm now applying the powder contour. So I'm using the Revolution powder palette today and my MAC 168 angled brush, paying attention to Jessie's cheekbones, her wonderful bone structure. She's got such a nice jawline all around her hairline and a little bit around the sides of the nose and the tip of the nose just to give definition to the face and I'm then going to go on with some highlighter so this is Ofra highlighter it's a powder and the shade is Rodeo Drive and it's such a beautiful highlighter like I was a sucker for Doll Beauty and then I seen this again. I can, you can get it from Beauty Bay, and it's just such a beautiful highlighter. It really is. And then because the eyes are so bold and so colourful, and the main feature of this look, I am just going in with a nude gloss, and I'm going in with Honey by Peaches and Cream, which is the pinky, pale pinky sort of nude colour. So the highlighter is down the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose around the forehead and the cheeks and it wasn't enough what I did earlier so I'm going in again with a little bit more just because it's a Mitchell inspired look and his looks are always glowing always so highlighted the skin always looks so dewy and that is the finished look guys so I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up and give us any feedback, any comments in the box below. All the products are listed in the drop down box below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.